Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Brett Bush. I'm in the children's ministry at Calvary Chapel, Costa Mesa. I wanted to share today a parable that Jesus spoke about. Jesus often used parables to teach people from them as stories to kind of get God's word across and what the heart of God was towards his people. Today's story that I'm going to share on is the lost son comes home. And it's really about a father and his two sons. One was a good son, one was a wild son. But nevertheless, it will illustrate God's love for both. So, just wanted to start out again that Jesus told him this parable. There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So the father divided his property between the two of them. Not long after that, the younger son got together. All he had set off to a different, distant country, then squandered all that his father gave to him with wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him into fields to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, literal corn husks, but no one gave him anything. And when the man who squandered his wealth came to his right senses and thought to himself, how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare and here I am, starving to death, feeding these pigs and eating their food. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So he got up and he went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled for compassion for him. The father obviously missed his son. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. It's important to understand at this point that according to the Old Testament law, that if a son disrespected his father like this, he could literally be stoned to death. So the father running out to him and throwing his arms around him is a great illustration for God's love for us. Though our sin be great, he runs to us and he wraps his arms around us and he, and he sends his son to die for our sins. He wants to save us. Just like this father running out to greet his son, God runs out to greet us. God loves us so much. And we go on in the story and it says, but the father said to his servants, quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Meanwhile, the older son, the one who stayed at home was in the field. And when he came near the house, he heard the music and the dancing. So he called one of his servants and asked him what was going on. Your brother has come, he replied, and your father has killed the fattened calf because he has been brought back safe and sound. The older brother became angry and angry and refused to go in. So his father went out and pleaded with him. But he answered his father, look, all these years I've been slaving for you and never disobeyed you, nor your orders. Yet you never gave me a young goat so I would celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours, who squandered all of your property and all of your wealth with prostitutes and wild living, and he comes home, you kill the fatted calf for him. My son the father says, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad 
because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. This ends the story. But the important thing to understand the dichotomy or the difference between the son who left and the son who stayed home. We understand that the son who left did the wrong thing, but he came to his senses. He understood that God had something greater for him than he had for himself. But it took him, he had to leave and go and find that out. But when he came to his senses, what did he do? He came back and he apologized. He repented. He changed. Ah, but the other hand, the other son who stayed home was full of indignation and anger. Why? Why was he angry? Because he thought he was righteous. He thought he was better. But was he really? We have to be careful because our pride, we can think because we're religious, we're better because we stayed. But in reality, God's looking at our heart. God is looking at the repentance. God is not looking at the anger or bitterness of the son who stayed, but he wanted that son to be as the father, forgiving. So the story today is really about two things. You can rebel, you must repent, but also don't become righteous in your own thoughts and have a righteous heart, but have a forgiving heart and merciful and gracious heart as that of our Father. Thank you for staying and spending time with me today, and it's been a joy to share this parable.